Manaba, Yeshabab, hello guys and gals. So, welcome to part 6. In the previous part, we created the task API file, which is here under service, services. What we did basically was we added an interceptor, is basically when we get a uh, yeah, response from the API, we can just look for the HTTP status code. And then we added um, an interface with four methods for the CRUD operations, and then we implement, implemented the implementation of the interface. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, what we did. And now we create a new composables folder a package. The composables are, you know, files that you can reuse so that you don't have to um tied your logic to 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 the view component or to the view page so so you can reuse logic so in source let's create directory composables okay and now let's just create a task uh let's create a file just get task this will be a method that which we will um uh, export so before we do that we have to define an interface it's called task fetch state and as the name suggests it will just check the state of the task of the fetching of the God damn it from fetching the task okay uh, because we will, this will be a response object, and we will re, uh, return multiple values here. Just say here fetch tasks. Oh god damn it! Yeah, up there. Oh my god. Fetch tasks, and we define here a method signature is task type. Course, it's a string, and we are going to return a promise, but this is a void, so no actual return type. Okay. Type. Okay. Now we'll define a property tasks, which will be a uh, uh, of type ref task fetch response. This is just a reactive type that. So a reactive type is this. Uh, so when something changes, we immediately get the change. Uh, task fetch response, and this is of course a list. So we make it an array. Okay, great. Uh, either it's a type or a reactive type, or it will be just of type never. Just let's just do it like this. Okay. This is just for safety reasons. Okay. Okay. Another reactive type will be is loading. Is the task still loading? I mean, is the net network request still happening? All the reactive type, and this is of course type boolean. Next reactive boolean type is of type is a network error, is network error. And reactive type again, and basically what we can do is just copy it. Okay, and then we will also return if it's an Axios error or not. Axios error, also reactive type, of course. Okay. Okay, I, either it will be an Axios, Axios error or it will be null. Okay, looks good. 
and you will see in a second why I'm using this. Because the funny thing with view is you can define as an object, as an object that should be returned and it has multiple values inside of it. But now let's just, before we can do this, we have to create another uh, composable method. Again, TypeScript, of course, and just say log request error, log request error. Okay. This file, this method will be used um, so we can track always the, the errors that we get from the request from from sending a request to the API and then track the response error. Okay, here we can just we should do export default function log request error. Okay, here we can define, I mean, this will be this will be just um, how to say it. Uh, we can pass here multiple things. We can also pass here um, a method. So the, param the parameter name will be method name here. Then we'll see in a second what we are going to do with it. Have type string. And the error will be an axios error. Okay, access error, but yeah, either access error or it's an unknown error. So that's why unknown. Okay. Okay, and this will be this will nothing return, so just say void in here. So it's a bit more readable. Now we use console error again to lock things. Error in method so curly braces and parameter method name and now we can say again dollar sign curly braces error instance if it's if it's an error of instance of error just check is the object really an instance of error instance of autocomplete completely fails <laughs> okay mm. otherwise here the elvis operator otherwise we say error dot message say colon say Print it as string. Just give here error, and that's it. Looks good. Yeah, basically this this function will be used to let us know where the in which method the error happening is happening, and what the error is actually. Okay, now let's go back to get task. Now we will uh, implement things in here. So let's, this will be used in another few page. So let's say export function, get tasks, how, how the fa uh, file name is. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say task fetch state, this interface we defined. This is the object what we are expecting back. And now let's define some fields in here. Tasks. Uh, this will be reactive. Yeah, like that. Yes, reactive type. We're expecting a list, a reactive list. Const, and basically we can use again is loading and here reference 
By the way, reactive is for the objects and ref is just for simple um, data types like string and numbers and booleans. Uh, okay. Here we say just at the beginning false. And duplicate this, this network error. Here at the beginning we also say false, it's not an such an error. And then we'll duplicate it again, and then we'll just check for access error. And here we, because it's an actual object, we just say null. Okay. And now inside of this function, we will have another function, a uh, nested function. Here, async. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, don't forget the semicolons in here. Let's say async function. Uh, what's happening? What's happening? Nothing works anymore. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on with WebStorm. I uh, hope the JetBrains guys are fixing some things. It's not working properly, to be honest. Autocomplete could be much better. Uh, task type. Uh, task type. Promise. And then we say. Void because it doesn't return actual something. So, okay. At the beginning, when we are fetching a task, of course, we are fetching some things and we want to show later something is loading. So, let's say it's loading. Uh, value is equal to true. Semicolon. Next, our task. Uh, array should be empty, so this is a bit weird in TypeScript to be honest. We just have to say task length is zero to make it sure it's nothing's inside there to make it empty. A bit weird if you ask me, but it's okay. Yani type. Nothing muscular. So let's say try. Now we are trying things. Um, as you know, this is from try catch box. So let's define a const, a response in here. And because this is an asynchronous um, request, let's say not tasks, uh, web service. Where's our web service? There's our web service. Nice. And say, Yanni, uh, get tasks. And then we need the task type and the task type okay what we are going to do now we take the response and first we take our local field the tasks and we fill it that's why we need the splice we start filling from zero until the task length start length how many items are in there and we use this i think it's called spread operator just it's uh spread operator yes response okay that's good okay here we have a typo and Okay. Nice. Basically, what it start, it will fill everything with this uh, here inside response, the data, everything into tasks from zero, starting from zero till the length. Okay. 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 And now we say. This is now we know that it's not a ne network error, so we have to say is network error value to false. So okay, 
this is what you want this is good for now now go to the catch block and now we catch if in case an error happens uh, we catch it you say error this type of axios error or like we did define it up here or of type is uh not yet uh it's of type unknown i think we define it somewhere else but it's okay ah we define it in log request error of unknown yes okay then we use our log request function the log request error function we give it the method name the method name we just copy paste fetch tasks we can do curly brace uh, parentheses we say here error and it's okay and now we take the axios error and we define it say value let's give it a value and we say again error instance of axios error otherwise it's just error if it is error in, uh, if it's error if the error is instance of axios error we give it the error back the value of the r value here otherwise it's undefined and this should be of course this is now a network error and we say here instead of false we say true and that's basically it now let's add a finally block this final block will always be uh, triggered we say loading is completed it's loading value true false and of course we have to return something because we have a return type and let's return something let's say return and then just an object we do it with the curly braces and what we are going to return is the fetch tasks method the whole method yes uh, because methods are functions methods are post class citizens in typescript like in kotlin we return the tasks uh, array the list better set there is loading there is network error the axios error and that should be it looks good for me right now okay 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 and this method yet yeah, it will this method why we have created it because it returns multiple things this task fetch state because we always want to you know according to what we are getting update the ui and uh, we start fetching the tasks uh if it's successful we will um will have a list of tasks and the loading will start and if it's successful it will stop um, and otherwise if we have a network error we give here the values for network error we say it's, it's a network error it's true and then we give the value of the access error and at the end the loading will complete nonetheless okay i hope this was a little bit understandable i know i, I it's, it's, it's a bit weird you know to, to code and to explain things and i have to look at my script uh what i'm doing at the steps and i hope you can follow along if you liked it please don't forget to like subscribe and i see you in the next tutorial in part seven